Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am the host, you are the audience, and this is The Freak Show. So, uh, how you doing? Got a full pack show, but we also have a guest. We have M.A. Mihalik. Uh, say, say hello, friend. Hello there. Hello. Um, and, and you wanted to come on today. Is, is, is that a correct I, I... statement? Yes, Your Honor, that's a factual statement. <laughs> that is a true and honest statement. <laughs> yep, that is a true, honest statement. True, true, red blooded American, honest statement. All right, and wh what exactly do you want to come on here for? You know, the floor is yours. Well, I mean, well, some of the some of the oddball stuff with the internet, specifically with Machiavelli. Um, I was gonna kind of go in hard, but I gave it some more thought and stuff. And I, you yeah, know, I, I don't figured. I figured that was what was going on in your head. That's why I asked you, are you good yeah. in, in private? Yeah. Yeah. And I, like I said, I, I am, smell you know, it's like, it just, it bothers me. It bothers me. So I, I not, I haven't really said a whole lot. Um, cause I'm usually not trying to keep your hands clean. To, yeah. I, I usually don't do this kind of stuff, but like, what in the fuck are you doing? Like, you've decided to be an asshole and nuke everything, and you've really fucked with people in a, like, it's not cool. Like, I'll just be frank. This asshole has ruined uh, cordial acquaintances that I have with people, you know, because he decided to be a, a fucking moron. You know, the other big thing, you know, he, he had called me a false Christian, a fake Christian. Now... You know, I've never professed myself to be holier than thou or the perfect person or anything. I've got a long way to go, and I reckon. Yeah, but don't for we somebody all. to say something like that and question my faith and stuff is not right. You know, and I had talked with somebody earlier and stuff, and I had said it to them like this. You know, let's say hypothetically I am that person. Who are you to judge me then? And if if you think that I'm that, shouldn't you be praying for my salvation? Yeah, you know, like he's trying to take a holier th than thou uh, stance, and it doesn't this. really, yeah, it doesn't really fit. Yeah, dude, that's this is wrong. You know, like I'm, you you morally I'm, object to what's happening. I do. I really do. It's wrong because it's it's a. I don't want to say it's affecting people, but like no, it's, it really is. It's it's done. Yeah, it's done things, and like you just you want to you want to talk about all this stuff that you know and like you then you of all people max should know what you're doing but you don't see it because you are pissed off because you're jealous and you were infatuated with somebody that you weren't sure was a, a dude or a female 
you know, now all of a sudden, like, there's some things that have come up that I'm going to laugh at you about now. Because you've yeah. done nothing but you've done nothing but project, and I don't mean to spoil your show or anything with what I'm about to say, but you know, you would Mac, you would rail against transsexuals constantly. You know, oh, I don't dude, have we're a not doing anything way. about Mac tonight. So anything you want to say, feel free. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. You no, not ruining I'm, anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, you have talked to me many times about your disdain and dislike for transsexuals. Yet, what in the fuck are you doing on Twitter liking this shit? Mac, I'm sorry. I'm going to laugh at you now. I really, really am. You're a troon chaser, and you're in denial about it. That's yeah, what's your up, fucking clowny? problem. What's up, Snivels? You know, why don't you come out and just say, yep, I like troons, because that's all I can get. You know, I probably would have a little bit of a sliver of respect for you if you just come out now and say it. Yeah, like, that's but your thing. Like, I'd have so been, much more respect for somebody if they were like, yeah, that's my thing. Like, if, just out the gate. Yeah. It's the whole thing that we've always been saying about Fuentes. Just say you're gay so you're just done and over yeah. with. It would stop hey, all this Hey, you know how shit. I get around that? I don't have to talk about any of it. I just don't talk about it. it it's yeah. amazing. I use the at, don't ask, don't tell policy, and it works wonderfully. I'm not saying I have some weird pro proclivities. Just saying I, I just believe in the don't ask, don't tell policy. Uh, agreed. Like it's none of, like when it comes to internet shit, it's none of my business what you are. If you're a dude chick, uh, I don't know an Apache helicopter, an Iowa yeah. class battleship. I don't give a shit. You know where I do give a shit is if I decide to go out on a date and you, you know, like if I show up and you're telling me that you you're a dude, I will just get up and leave. Because I don't really, I don't yeah, approve of like the lifestyle. Need, it's not something I like. But it seems I'll like say you this: need a notification before you. Before you meet up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, give us a heads up. Don't say shit in your profile. Like, it's... I'm really traditional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, like, I, it's. You feel let down. You're, you're I can not, hear it you're... in your voice. Well, it's not that I'm let down or anything. Like, I'm, I, again, I don't have internet friends, you know. No. The, the... But you do have, you I, did have an expectation have of a... Mac, and he totally let that down. Well, I have acquaintances, and, and yeah, I have, you know, I take people for their words. So if you're going to sit there and tell me how you have a disdain for troons, and then you turn around and you decide to start liking stuff on, on X that is troon pictures and people that are flaunting that, and, like, I'm sorry, but I'm going to start laughing at you. One, because you go against your own morals that you stated to me, and two, because you're a fucking troon chaser in denial, and those people are fucking funny to me. As far as I'm concerned, Mac, you're no different than Nick Fuentes is. You're both in the fucking closet. So, fuck you. Like, you've really fucked a lot of people over, and I told you I was perturbed with you. And I was thinking of saying something to you, you know, a few days after I had sent that. And I chose not to, because you know what? It really isn't worth it for me to talk to you anymore. It just isn't. Especially hey, now hey, the Mac, fact that you're hey, a Hey, Mac, teacher, why do you I tell everybody about the, the, the fucking, uh... The silk underwear that you say all lumberjacks like to wear. The silk underwear that all lumberjacks like to wear? Yeah, he would, that he would say from? that. He would say uh, 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 lumberjacks because they get so sweaty like to wear silk underwear. And a lot of times those are females. I remember, uh, I remember him talking about his work stuff, and they did. I don't remember all of that. I, he completely. straight up said that I, I'm, to not me. Gonna, I'm not. I'm not going to comment on that because I, I don't recall it. So I, I can't. Like I, I'm not going to say anything about that. My only, my only beef is the things that I can currently see, and the fact that, you know, it it doesn't surprise me that you know people are had made the false claim that Maya is a dude, and it would make sense why. He would be saying, "Oh, you know, she's my wife," and "Ooh, woo," and and being being a creepy fucking dude to yeah, rapey. somebody. Let's just say what it end. sounds yeah. like. It sounds rapey. It sounds like yeah. weird French man rapey. Very. It's it's very like he is the stereotype. Like after and... all of that bullshit, he just was the stereotype. That creepy French guy that smells like cigarettes and won't get up off you. Yeah. And here's the other thing, you know, if people think somebody's a guy, do you really think that, like, if, if people claim that a chick is a guy out in the real world, do you really think that guys are going to pursue that woman? I, unless they're tranny chasers, no. Yeah, unless that's their thing. 
so that gives that lends more credence to the fact that he's a trainee chaser in denial and that's fucking funny to me yeah like just own up to your shit i've owned up to my shit there's nothing i'm afraid of of like i you know <laughs> like what the fuck i'm not yeah. a degenerate <laughs> like and i just it's insane you're you're a closeted degenerate you live on the fucking canadian welfare system like you bitch about your doctor stuff yeah i'm coming out with it you know like fix your shit dude just fucking come out and say what you actually are accept it live with it and like move the fuck on you've burned a lot of fucking bridges and really ruined a lot of shit with in a short amount of time people. ralph would be proud oh. yeah no you know what no you know what no wonder he's he's cozying up to ralph and these people now same pattern you know I, he's, he's yeah it's the same pattern you know what i i i I haven't really come up with a catchy, a catchy name for it yet. I'm still sticking with Mac being, you know, Little Ralph, basically what Mac <laughs> is. No. He's little. He's little frog. He's little Froggy Ralph. He's no. a frog. <laughs> yeah. No, it's true. No, you know he who I see him as? Thing? You know who I really see him as? B. Remember B? Sargon's yeah. B? Yes. Now, now, yes. Superimpose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty similar. I mean, the only He's way that he will become be like Ralph's fully... little carrier pigeon. Watch. That's what I was gonna. That's what I was gonna say. The only way that he'll he, he will be like V is, or he'll become V is if he does the same thing V did with Sargon. He'll do it with Ralph, which I wouldn't be surprised if he does that. Like, you know, snakes are snakes. And, yeah, that whole yeah. I want to be a co-host. I don't want to be an actual. I don't want to be an. Do your actual... own fucking thing. Go was, do your own fucking thing. Yeah, like, you I did. Computer, go I'm it. no one, and I did it. Yeah. I am literally a who from Whoville. Yeah. Not to knock you, you get more you get more viewership than I do with my really lazy effort gaming streams and stuff, but, like, yeah, we're both in the same category, and that's okay, but, like, dude, and It's no, not even about that. that. Like, like, people can pick up if you like it, and you'll you'll get a viewing eventually. A core viewing of motherfuckers who just won't abandon you. Just happens. Yeah. Just just show people you like what you're doing, and eventually they'll yeah. show up. Yeah. And if they don't, well, oh, and well. networking. Oh, okay. like, you gotta you gotta get into a couple discords and 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 network with people, build build relationships and shit like that. Like, it, no yeah. man is an island. Oh, that's yeah, no, you're right. But, you know, get, not to get too, I wasn't trying to get too onto that. It wasn't like I was like, oh, me or anything, but no. Like, <laughs> hosts the show, thing. Clowny co hosts the show with all his headmates. There are one and two and thing one and thing two. No, um. Well, like I said, you know, I, yeah, everybody's like, wait, I thought I was Maya. Well, yeah, you're Maya and I'm Maya, but I'm yeah, also like Doomer, Spartacus. which makes you me. Yeah, which makes you me and and the I'm Schrodinger's you. Maya. Also... Yeah, yeah, but no, like getting back to the Maya thing, like okay, everybody says, oh, that's a dude, that's a dude. Okay, then why are you again? It comes back to why are you pursuing that if 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 you think that way? Why were you pursuing it's that? It's the unknown. It doesn't make like sense. if we're gonna be real about this. It's the unknown. The fact that they don't know means they gotta dig into it. They go autistic like I did for Wayne. Oh, okay. So, like, uh, were you hoping it was a guy? Like, are you mad that you? Were I don't right? know what their motivations are. I just, I, I just see you... that energy wafting off of them. Yeah. Well, like I said, with him liking the 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 turn pictures on on X and stuff, I mean, it just lends credence to the fact that I I think that he was probably hoping that Maya was a dude, and because that's what he's into. Again, it's so <laughs> like, weird. It's it's beyond weird. It's kind of disgusting. Like I. You know, I don't approve of the lifestyle, but I'm not going to go publicly outright and like scream and yell and like you're living a bad life and blah blah blah. That's not for me to judge, and I'm not going to like. Mac don't has do that. deeper motivations than that. Uh, that's bad. That's worse. Because like, that's, if it's just surface, I want that person. That's that's treatable. But if it's like deep seated bullshit. Mm hmm. Well. If, if what he said hi me. Maya hi good to have you here 
Um, sorry we're talking about you so much. It's just the cycle. You know it happens every couple months. These people are assholes. Yeah, and I'm here to, you know, say I, I don't disavow. agree with what happened. I'm getting a strong totally disavow disavow. sent off of you. Firm, firm disavow. Like, I just, I, I can't, you're, again, you're, you, you literally have sat there and, and we've talked before and you've told me your opinion on, you know, well, not really. and now, now you're doing now this. You. Well, not yeah, really. Like, what do you mean? Well, I, again, I don't know if it's made up or, or real or whatever now. I mean, it's all fucking, who knows? Like, Get in that's here, fine. Clowny. Get in here. Kalani wants to hop in. Uh, sure. Sorry, Bishop. Uh, I did tell you to wait, but these two people pertain to what we're talking about, and you can hop in afterwards. Hey, thank you so much, Rush. We are getting a special AI song here in the next uh, broadcast. I think you guys will really like it. We get oh boy, is it is it R is it R L Rhinestone? You know who? Um, it, I I think it was a song I suggested, but yes, we are getting some. Some WL songs. Yo, what's up? What is up, dude? Uh, I'm so sorry we're talking so audio. much about this stupid shit, dude. Really, I am. Uh, was my desktop audio was my desktop audio popping in or no? Uh, I don't hear it. No, you didn't hear it. Okay, good. I'm good. Okay, okay. I just I wanted to say that um, this is this is a gay op the likes of which has never been seen. This has been years in the making and i've been putting together a schizophrenic oh, no! on my wall with all sorts of screenshots and conversations that i've had and oh, i've got no! so much fucking yarn i've got yards and yards of yarn Enough and i figured, to strangle I figured several cats. I cracked the case. that's right that's right i've cracked the case that's yeah i figured it out <laughs> i know what's going on are you gonna on. lay it on it's us or colossal, are you gonna save it for your stream it's a I don't know what I don't know. I still have to hash out the details and I have to <laughs> jump into people's Discord servers without them knowing that it's me. I can hear your mean. hair standing up like that dude who's like, aliens. Oh, yeah. I'm having a real Giorgio A. Sucolos moment right now. <laughs> I, I don't want to say that it was a gay op, but it was a gay op. Yeah. All right? yeah. Like, it's, it's I, I, I smell it. I smell the homosexual ops in the air and it all smells like Mac. Why were you posting that picture, Mac? Why did you retweet that true and Mac? It's real. <laughs> it's real. The truth is out there. It's out there, boyos. You just have to look for it. Oh, dude, he's you been liking more and shit. more like simp shit too. Like, simp shit too. He's been simping pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's been pretty good. I did but, hear a bleed um, over that time. You may want to turn your desktop audio down just a touch. Did, 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 I, uh, you know what it is? It's my headphone. Is my headphones are really really loud and they oh, pipe in shit. on top of. Yo, yeah, dude, they they, they, they somehow. God damn. They well, it's because of the tinnitus from shooting all those guns without oh, yeah. ear protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, and now you you know two shells fit perfectly in your ear, right? Like like in each yeah, ear. Yeah, and I used to make my own dynamite and blow up my own <laughs> dynamite. <laughs> and like, hey. like we used to put these massive fucking craters in the ground. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that kind of that kind of fucked it up a little bit too. Yeah, it's all those situations. Say, all I'm gonna say is tannerite. Tannerite makes for a one hell of a time. It does. Don't put it in things though. That's how people yeah, get don't hurt. Do that. Yeah, don't do I that. I want a sculpt. I want a sculpt. A a a pit bull at a tannerite, and then put a Bluetooth speaker in it. that sounds like it's barking. And I'm gonna <laughs> sell those black as anti ATF, uh, anti ATF uh, uh, <laughs> items. So when they come oh, stumbling you, on is, your property, uh, is, is Doomer loud as fuck? Here, let me let me turn these guys down. Sorry about that, guys. Doomer, you're loud. It's as because fuck. I, fuck. I can get louder. I can get louder and more psychotic. <laughs> I'm sending you screen caps. Oh shit! I'm sending you screen caps right now. Okay, so well, well, okay, so Ma, why don't you finish up what you were gonna say? I kind of forgot what I was going to say because I was laughing. That's dude derailment. Sorry, okay, man. so hang around well, while fine, while man. while I get sent those fine. screenshots. Um, I want to show all of you wonderful human beings. Uh, the the yesterday how I got jabated. Uh, I specifically uh edited this so it's uh YouTube safe. So now you get to take part in me getting jabated without having to see guy balls. <laughs> 
Ah, you fell for the balls. I did fall for the balls. Free content in Discord. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're rubbing off on me, dude. You, you, like, have you detected it every once in a while? I'll be like, and then I'm gonna do this. Like, like you do. <laughs> schizophrenia is contagious. It is. Actually, it's if like, you're around schizophrenia, uh, schizophrenics uh, three, long enough. Three, two, you cannot do this. No, no, schizophrenia when you're... It's very nice to act like... You... No, 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 no. I just want to go on the record and say that uh, the only reason I was attracted to Maya to begin with is because I thought she had the balls. Send pictures of the feet. Yeah, the feet pics. Poor Mac. Mac, get health, bro. Definitely need it's help. It's okay, bro. All right, here's the it's money okay. shot, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, kapow! You can even see the hairs. <laughs> Wow. I'm glad, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm glad I can't see this. And I'm just laughing like a psychopath, because oh, you got me. Got so good. Yeah, he, he got you, bro. Oh, Dude, you can't deny when you get got that good. No, back but to our program. Lesson, lesson for you. Never, ever, 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 ever open up your your messages when, when you see .jpg or .mmg <laughs> person, because you're not... You're you're gonna be scarred for what you see usually. Trust I me. Just I just on record as saying I'm not playing any more media donation or any more media on my show. You cox, Paps, you ruined it for everyone. You cock smoking savage. Now no one gets <laughs> those funny videos. You fucked it up. You fucked it up. It was you. You did it. <laughs> oh no. no. That's it. That's it. No more right. videos on the on the clowny show. You fucked it up for everybody. Send it in balls. Oh oh, so. Let's just. Is there anything important? Okay, no, nothing. Check out that. So, check, check that. Yeah, don't yeah. Show that's that no, no. We're, uh, oh, don't show it. God damn it. God Did damn it. it. Did you show it already? already? I might. I, I might have. I, I'm so sorry. Oh, fuck me sideways with a barbecue you, fork. You, All right, no, it's fine. No, you gotta tell me first. You gotta say this is private because I'm an asshole and oh. we'll just flick it over because half of the shit you've given me hasn't been private. Oh yeah, yeah. Just yeah, tell me. Carl Just tell me right when it's private. Me. Carl. I and I'll Carl we'll respect right it. About me. I he don't was, know what that means. He was I review bombing. Confirmation. Who's, what was who's he doing? Review bombing. No, no. What? I, what did you say? That's what I thought you said. No, no. I um. I don't know. I still don't under. I still don't know what what it was that uh Carl said about me. But there's oh. um. There's something going on here. There's something going on. I don't know what. I don't know what exactly it is that's going on. I got a good idea. I got a. I got a. I well, got a I don't want you to speculate idea. on my show. I want you to save it for your show. No, no, no. Yeah, no. That's I'll tell the you what's happening. That's the keynote. The eclipse bro. has decamouflaged all the reptilian aliens, <laughs> and now they're tunneling under your house to steal your shoes. No, I wear, need those. Do they, wear, do they wear little hats, or are they the ones with they the big wide black hats and the weird curls? Yes, the little. The the they you know a combination of both the the higher power reptilians they're the ones with the wide brim hat with the curly cues and they they say shalom they all say yeah you know I've said too much um <laughs> you're probably you're probably gonna get a rush rush I mean if he's not gonna filter the content I'm gonna teabag oh, him <laughs> I'm gonna get a knock on my door lahayim oh shit Lahayim. I don't have any tunnels for you to 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 dwell in fuck off. Go back no to your tunnels in here. fucking Brooklyn. Go back no. to your tunnels in Brooklyn. No rape tunnels here, oh, sir. No, 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 not you. No, 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 no. The little hat people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the ones with the small hats, the reptilians with the tiny hats. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Reptilian shapeshifters. Uh -oh. Reptilian shapeshifters. They're everywhere. They, they, they are. Shoes. They'll, they'll drink your crumb. The they'll drink your cream of crumb or whatever the fuck that's called. That's right. Dream of crumb. Right. Oh, cool. <laughs> Wayne believes that. Wayne believes that shit. Smartest thing wow. he's ever fucking said. Like, <laughs> if it's if it's on 4chan, Wayne believes it. Well, it's so uh, weird. Um, like, Clowny, go post some crazy shit on 4chan. I bet it'll come up in one of his streams. Yeah, well, oh, you can't really disprove some of the stuff that's come out about Bohemian Grove, so that's all I'm gonna say. This is what all elites do. 
They dress as werewolves and rape children. No, no. Okay. Wayne was at Bohemian Grove. He has over like a thousand pictures of Bohemian Grove, and he's only shown like three. So that's the biggest that's chestnut. Though. That is the biggest chestnut to crack about Wayne. What is this? I think, I think he just got a few pictures and like scanned them. I really don't think that he, I really don't think he went. He took fucking Polaroid instant pictures of the Alex Jones special. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like that's, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that's no, but he, he did. actually did work as a gardener there. So he did have did he? A, a level of access that not a lot of people had. That's pretty fucking sussy. I'm not going to lie. How many kids? What did he do to those children? No, he was a gardener. He wasn't part of anything. So, like, he, so, wow, there, so there's, they, so they there's an really open weird season. Shit. And then those sick okay, freaks, so... they sit in the hot tub full of feces and they watch and they masturbate. <laughs> no! Yeah, he said they sit in a hot tub full of feces and they watch the gardeners do terrible things to children and they all. Oh no, Wayne! What have you done? Each other. Yeah, what have you done, Wayne? I Wayne. Read it on 4chan, Wayne. It has to be true. It has to be true. It's on 4chan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys go. All right, buddy. Everybody have a great night. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. All right, good night, And I hope everybody has a good tomorrow. All right, thank you so much for stopping by. Bye, Maya. Bye, Maya. Bye, Maya. Bye. Bye, bye, I'm Maya, I'm you, and I'm also you, and I'm everybody in chat, and I'm typing everything right now using macros. You, I'm you are psychotic. one mind. It is I, I am the AI Doomer. Everybody have a good one. Bye-bye. All right, thank you so much for stopping by, buddy. <laughs> I love him. He's like, I do too. You know, he's I, cool. He, 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 make, he's, he makes me laugh. Yeah, he's just there for the funds. Yes, but he does raise a good point that it does smell like a lot of gay opry, and like I, I don't know, honey. I think it's ridiculous if you would spend half the time and effort you do in the real life with gay opry, you probably would kind of have a better life. Based I don't know. People. Maybe that's Fuck why. Yeah. Maybe that's why I don't involve myself that fucking far into things because, like, I've got a career. <laughs> like that takes up my time. <laughs> He's just watering the plants with blood. No biggie. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Like... yeah. Yeah. No big deal. No. No Not big deal. Hey. Uh, no. uh. Uh. Bishop, if you want to jump in now, you can. Yeah. No. I'll I'll wrap it up here and stuff because I do want to. It's almost eleven o'clock here. On yeah, the, dude. Get on some, get some rest, you mad man. I appreciate yeah, you I, dropping I by and letting me interrupt you hundreds of times. Well, thank you for giving me a forum to at least kind of say something about all this. And like I said, just kind of sum it up like, yeah, I'm going to laugh at you now because you like Troon shit and, you know, you can dislike me for it, but you run against your own morals and I'm going to laugh at you now because that's disgusting, dude. Like, you fucking know better and it's disgusting. But other than that, yeah, uh, can I show real quick before... Uh, please Bishop do, comes? please do. Uh, let me go grab your uh, your... Uh, uh, channel, and I'll throw that in the uh, in the chat. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, no I do. I got you, buddy. I do gaming stuff. Yeah, I do gaming stuff. Um, hey, post your shit in my shill more. Like I'm, I'm having yeah. to scroll, buddy. Yes, I'm sorry. I'll have to do that. You um, are more yeah, than welcome, get... and it actually helps my shit grow too. There we go. I'll have to do that more often then. But yeah, no, I mean, hell, like, you can see me. I do very minimal low effort streams because not low I effort really just like just yeah. not a lot of uh uh like mic stuff you like like yeah i i value your offer. stuff your shit is perfect for a second screen and that's what it's designed for from what you told me yeah yeah that like i do reading and stuff so it's nice to have background noise but so there's that and obviously <laughs> hey I'm maya on. yeah I'm, I'm maya too but now I'm on I'm on X uh, at McKin's World Roof. Channel reported for nudity. Me. Oh, I'm so so sad that you reported me for nudity, even though there wasn't any nudity. Stop being a flagger, bro. You know better. Stop being a fucking frog. Don't nobody likes a frog, so stop. But, all right, I'm all right. gonna go. I will see you later. Uh, yeah. Bye. You have yourself Bye. a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by. See ya later. Hey Bishop, how you doing? I'm okay. How you doing? This has gone to shit since I left. 
Oh, it's been going to shit since you've been here. Okay. It's just a slower, ah. gradual process when you don't, when you're, when you're uh, in it. Not giving two fucks about it. Yeah. No, no, it seems more dramatic when you're away and then come back. Oh yeah, because I've been away from the sector because you know it's just so retarded. Yeah. Well, why do like, you think I, I did I just, my own shit? I don't know. I mean, I didn't even. I, I seen yesterday that. Merc and Cog had a falling out. I'm like, okay, why do I care? And then, um... Well, he lost his mind and is throwing his toys all over the internet. That's that's the big point <laughs> that's happening right now. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's what I gathered. Stop losing your day. mind, Mac. Yeah. Seek, seek, please seek professional help. Yes, I don't, yes. I, don't, I know you. No one will judge you. you. They'll actually respect you if, if, if you do. Yeah, hey, maybe the same thing can be said for Ralph. Seek professional help. Oh, that's not happening. <laughs> no like, he's shit, too far gone. Mac it. is not uh, yet a lol cow. He's on the he's edge, on the road to but he's coming. not there. He's not there yet. Um, oh, but he's damn close. He, yeah, he's on that, that precipice that nobody wants to be even slightly near. He's on the... If he keeps going, he's on the path of no return. All right. So, are, are you hanging out for the show, or did you want to say something specific? Either either or are completely okay. I just want to know what I'm doing next. Uh, just hang out for the show. Wanted, okay. I wanted to get a couple things about the sector, and then do what else you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, The sector is basically split down the middle about... Uh, it's basically split down the middle between people who are just doing their own thing, don't lie about shit, and don't have any skeletons mm -hmm. in their closet, and the other half who are degenerates trying to point the finger at other people because they don't understand that eventually people will look at them. Mm-hmm. So, like, you, like I... I I, I would hope I'm on the side that's honest and doesn't have a lot of skeletons in my closet. <laughs> I mean, you can only hope, you know. You can I can provide hope. free content if you need it, Freak Show. Listen, I appreciate you. I really do. But I am going to go over your shit with a fine-tooth comb. <laughs> he debated uh, me. He got me good. Like, I'm going to remember that. Like, you have taught me a lesson. I will learn from my mistakes. Hey, he got, he, at least you own up that he got you. <laughs> yeah. When I'm wrong, I'll say I'm wrong. And there are these people mm -hmm. on, on X right now who are like, you, uh, so I basically, wrong. no, no, I made a bet. No, I made a bet. Oh, I, I went, oh. I bet that Paul is lying mm -hmm. on, on things, on his shit. <laughs> Robocock! <laughs> um, but I told him that, uh, well, I told, uh, I, I, I wrote that uh, I bet 50 bucks that this is going to be a lie right now. And, uh -huh. and they did the same old Johnny, uh, hurt that 14 year old girl, that same oh, old geez. bullshit. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in my mind, that's me winning. That's a lie. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> Beep boop. So I mean, I, I don't know. The sector is just fucking full of retards. But then oh, again, sorry. I'm... The point I was getting to is all of these people that that are saying this happened are literally hoping a fourteen-year-old girl got hurt. What? Oh, think about what? it. They want to be right about. Cog having hurt someone. Jesus Christ. Think, like, nobody's thinking about that. That's some fucked up bullshit. Yeah, that's exactly my point. It's, it's, um, so now I'm just, now I just started responding to him with, uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, I hardly pay attention to this side of the internet because uh, I got better things to do. Uh, sorry, I just got 
Why do you motherfuckers don't want me to do a normal show? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Like, you're just dropping knowledge bombs on me left and right, and I'm supposed to go, oh, I'll just do my normal show, when this goddamn fucking nuclear bomb of knowledge is right fucking there. You sons mm -hmm. of bitches, I love you. Good job. Hey, if, if, you, if you had a powerful enough computer, you should do a Helldiver stream. Oh, I yeah. actually am thinking about putting my two computer streaming setup back together and doing streaming. You should and get hell divers. That game is fucking fun. I'll get you'll get murdered by both the automatons and the terminids. Yeah. Um. But I, but I've been I, I've been wanting to play much. Dark Souls on stream for a while because that was my game when I streamed. I would like do psycho okay. runs with like the worst weapons and shit. <laughs> I mean, everyone's like, got their like Dark Souls thing. two with like the fucking the shitty hammer that's like. A hundred damage below all of the other good weapons. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. So let's get this on the road. So today, for today's show, we will have Mr. Mediker versus Nick Fuentes. I'm going to do a review of that. Um, Tony Chase. Uh, we get to see some of the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. Do you know this insane man drives? Oh, like that he's me. fucking crazy, and he drives. Um, this dude should get his license revoked. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how he has one. He'd be, like, talking about the royal protocols and shit. Um. <laughs> you owe me a game of Dark Tide. Dark Tide, fuck yeah. I, like, when I get everything working, and if it works for me, I will play Dark Tide with you. I do not give any shits. I am not afraid of games. They don't scare me anymore. I just dig in and have fun. Um, alright, so Tony Chase driving. That's scary as fuck. Um, uh, French guy destroys his life with Orbeez. You may know about this, but I think it's something that bears witnessing. It's fucking insane. Uh, then we got two tards fight. You know the two tards that everybody has been covering the last two days who got into a fight? Yeah, I'm going to cover them too because I'm no different than anybody else. Um, um no, people... I don't know. Okay, then you're going to you're gonna love this. It's going to be horrible. You're going to fucking see it, regret it, and then, like, uh, and then treat it as something to never create in your mind again. Like, like never make this happen if you're, if you're... <laughs> <laughs> if you're in this situation, like, everything these people do is wrong and should not have happened. Um, people who took too much, number 84, they're just cranking them fucking out. Um, the, I'm gonna review the Michigan sh uh, school shooter's parents, uh, and the fact that they got a sentence of 10 to 15 hey, years. I'm from in Michigan. Yeah, yeah, I, the, the Michigan shooter's parents, you know, the, the Back college, course, yeah, the yeah. college shooter. Um, they got... No, that was a high school. Okay, the, it was high school, excuse me. Uh, they got 10 yeah. to 15 years in prison, both of them. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna talk about that. I wanna hear what you guys have to say about it, because, uh, because you guys are, uh, you guys, uh, what the fuck? Robococ, cock, cryptocurrency. <laughs> Oh, that's horrible! I'm I'm sorry. I'm being pulled in so many directions. I've got ADD, and people are talking to me. Um, so we're gonna be talking about the Michigan uh, shooter's parents, each sentenced to uh, ten to fifteen years. I want your guys' uh, opinions on that because I feel two kind of ways about that. I feel uh, I'll get into it then, and then we're gonna review the Final Fantasy House, and we're going to actually do a double thing where. Final Fantasy House, and Down the Rabbit Hole, because they are one of the best, one of the best rabbit hole style creators I've ever run across in my life. Um, so, definitely something cool. We got Midwest Films, because he's a crowd favorite. Everybody loves watching him eat. Uh, we've got a very, very special thing. And we have Ian to thank for this. Uh, uh, Wayne's second cousin, Ian, to thank for this. Um, he showed me the old, uh, an old uh, uh, archive stream that I knew about but had forgotten about. So we have Wayne's drunk stream, the one where he pisses in a bucket. Oh, wonderful. We have that one. Um, so definitely going to be watching that. 
uh, heavily editing. Uh, and to end it out, we're going to do what could possibly go wrong. Another kind of fail army shit. Wonderful. Crypto added to Discord. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, okay, so first things first. Mr. Mediker versus uh, Nick Fuentes. Cause Wait, isn't this shit like two years old? It no. is. There's no date that I have to stick to. It doesn't have to all be current. That's what's awesome about this. Oh, that this. is true. That is yeah, true. Yeah, this is just what crosses my desk in a day. God, you sound like a politician saying that. I know, but it's also like a a office building statement. That's mm -hmm. where I get it from. Okay. All yeah, right. Fair enough. Bap. Yeah. Uh, you got. All right. So, um, I'm gonna throw this in the chat because I am not going to play the whole thing. It's not. It's not one of those uh, uh, things. It's a. Uh, it's like a two-hour stream. Um, so my critique of this is Michael Al Alberto almost fucked it up, but he also asked one of the most salient questions in this interview. In this. Uh, in this uh, uh, exchange between Medicare and uh, and and Fuentes. He asks, uh, did he get his $500,000 back? And Nick just clams up and doesn't say jack shit about it. Um, <laughs> it's not as good as Medicare v. Ralph, but it is better than some of the beta burgers, like the quartering he, he talked about and talked shit about and all that. But uh, let's just kind of let's just kind of get into the limp dick fighting style of Nick Fuentes. Let's check this out. Why am I on my way out? Why am I on my, why am I on my way out? You Peter sent fifty dollars now. Right? Yeah, it's probably deserved, right? Like when a dude gets no, cancer. I'm, I mean, I did you know Nick Fuentes is a federal informant? For, I think that's true for women too. I I didn't know that, but I do think it's kind of funny that his uh that everybody around him seems to go be going to federal prison. <laughs> yeah, him and I mean, he even freaking baked Alaska onto the bus and then freaking left him to die. Oh, great. He's got that fucking... I know no word as his name. What an idiot. What an idiot. We want your live chat reactions to watch Robocock. No! no. <laughs> Dude, I think if you're a woman and you get cancer, you're probably a cheating. Yeah, I will not be partaking in a stream like that. Never so... say something like that. I'm just saying, I, I can't... That. Thank you, I'm but no saying, thank you. I can't help you Look at this simpering way. He's like, yeah, I'm just saying... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. He's being I called a histrionic fuck to his face. And he's like, well, I'm acting like I'm about to get punched. Like... <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's actually... It's a good gym fight, but it's a bad Nick fight. It fucking oh, yeah, Nick sucks. Got his ass kicked. Nick... Like, Nick got his ass kicked. Yeah, or Nick the knife. More like Nick the dull ass blade now. Oh yeah. <clears throat> uh okay, Nick. so go check that out if you want to. It's actually a pretty good watch because uh um it, it exposes how Nick will abandon everything to make a quick buck because uh he brought Ralph over thinking it was gonna be good for his situation and it ended up just fire fucking him in the face. <laughs> That's a term I've never heard before. Uh, I try to, keep it, I try to keep it fun. I try to keep it fun. Uh, well, well, valid point. All right, you want to see the scariest shit ever? Hey, how you guys doing? What Let's go. And religion are the people you see, Tony Chase is in his car. Trying to steal He's driving that bitch. Oh race, no, Tony! Why? Why? People that are trying to steal my trust funds. What race and what religion? Is trying to play this That's Cinderella this is scary as fuck. game. You know, yeah. Gonna, this is scary as fuck. This guy has a goddamn car. Does he even know how to, does he even know how to operate that thing? He's driving it around. Stealing He's all the it. monies. Oh here, let me let me share the screen for you, buddy. Bye. Yeah, that'd be that'd be wise. That'd be dope, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. One.
one second. Bam, there you go. And then they're trying to make me have to struggle for survival financially. Help my while survival. While they're ripping me off, while they're living some rich lifestyle by stealing my money. By like stealing my money. And what is the race and religion and the identity of those people? What is the race and religion of the people that are blocking me from my mother and father's mansions? <laughs> Don't forget, my parents built their own mansions. With their they built their own mansions, like, with their own money or, like, by I hand? Am? Their own private money. Do you understand Oh, that? with their own money, okay. So what race and religion... Is. You gotta stay on the ball with Tony because, like, you'll like listen to what he's saying, and it still doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. So you you have to be paying attention. All the other yeah. people that are doing these things, all the people that are doing these things, race and religion and DNA and fingerprints, and who they're tied in with. <laughs> all the belly and Ness say they got a four fold. They got a forfeit the information I mean they have to they have to provide the information in the courts publicly do you understand that do you understand that there's no way there's no legal reason for these people God, to, he sounds to, like to Ralph. no he doesn't sound like anything he sounds like a goddamn martian people don't oh, talk no, like no. this he's a fucking space alien something dropped him mm. off and impregnated a lanny and and he came out no, when I say he sounds like Ralph, I mean, what the line he just said, that's what, like, Ralph, that's something Ralph would say. Oh, you understand that type of shit? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's for him machismo. Like, he's, like, intimidating the screen. <laughs> I'm surprised the screen hasn't, like, cracked because he's so, so stupid. I didn't know stupid made shit crack. I thought it was ugly. Uh, well... Well, stupid. well, at least he hasn't gone into the fact that the satellites are burning his teeth yet. Killing the identity of the thieves <laughs> oh, God. the abusers. There's no legal right. Now, let's see if they choke, you know, you're going to see the information when I get back to the house. If they choke my cat when I walk in the house. The satellite man's been hitting me in the face and they're hitting oh. me in the upper lip right now. <laughs> That didn't take long. Nope, it did not. You know, in reference to the information. What's the race and religion, and who are the people that are doing this? He's got a real hang up on the religion of people. Like, what is yeah. it with schizos and religion? Like, I don't they know. think they're specially cared for by God, and and religion matters way more than it does. It is illegal. Oh, dude, I got America into a fight, Discord up. fight with a dude about religion last it's night. German. Don't do that. Money, relationships, money, uh, sorry, money, relationships, uh, politics, and religion. That's the big four. Oh, this was in a politics, this political discord server, so. Government. Every time oh, yeah, this motherfucker, if his cat gets a goddamn hairball, he's like, my, they're hitting my cat. They're hitting my cat. And they're playing, you can't see yeah. it, or you don't know it, or couldn't find it full of shit so okay so i'll explain what this is this is a modified form of uh a targeted person gang stalking if you know what that is um mm -hmm. this is Vaguely. the government is shooting me with lasers but it's all just gang stalking that's all this is that's all <laughs> like it's hell? all it is it's just gang stalking he thinks people are trying to get him who are part of the government, who have the ability to shoot him with lasers. Now, take out the government lasers. That's just gang stalking. Yo, what's up, Snivels? Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Hey, you don't have to. I really appreciate your effort, dude. Thank you so much. Grammar's the documents of my identity.
race is the person that's hitting me in the nose? What race in the religion is the person that they tried to make me Tony, look like? Why do you care? As they were. Yeah, that's that's my point. Why do you care, Tony? And you may ask yourself, like, there's not a meat lot. No, there's not a lot of meat on this boat. To uh, sorry, brain decided to short out. Meat a lot. Like, meat on the bone. Yeah, there's not a lot of meat on this bone. Like you kind of just have to sit there and watch it. Well, I want you to know that this is a psychological oh, splash of cold water in the face. You may have oh, it bad, oh, but you do not have it as bad as Tony Chase. This dude does not see oh, no. the same shit you see. Mm -hmm. Altering pictures and videos of mine. Everything's copyrighted and protected. And in reference to the deeds department, oh, and in reference to a house in Bloomington, Indiana, near Indiana University, somebody needs to look up the information to see if my mother built one of the fraternity houses there. Well, it's kind of, it's on Fraternity Row. What? Like, what? Somebody, are you just, like, throwing a dart out and hoping it hits someone? The fuck? It's just <laughs> a house for... Yeah, there's Bad and then there's Tony Chase. Or Mark Ray is his actual name. We finally find out found out his real name from his own mouth. I'm not doxing him or anything like that. Why would he tell people his real government name? That my mother had built for me. <laughs> <laughs> I went to work last week and the satellite man hit me with a rock. It was kind of poggers. <laughs> Look and see if somebody can find that information. It's like north of 10th Street on Fraternity Row. It's, you know, it's like... A like, he comes up with new information about every week. I think he has a Wrangler. Like, you, you know how Wayne yeah, has Wranglers? I mean, has you know how Chris Chan has Wranglers? Well, I, think, I think Wayne has Wranglers. Not Wayne, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I think Tony has Wranglers. Legitimately, I think I think uh, I think every once in a while somebody just puts a little bug in his ear. Uh, it's not like a, a real frat house. It's like a private house, and it might be like third or second or first house to the corner. On if you're heading north of 10th Street on Fraternity Row, to be on the right hand he has side. a Wrangler. Somebody, <laughs> somebody needs to. I, you need to find out who's been staying in that house. My mother possibly had millions of dollars in that house for me. Oh, my God. Look it up. Hey. All right, that's enough. We're not going through the whole thing. Um, if you want to go watch Tony Chase, uh, I don't recommend it, but... Uh, you'll lose brain cells. <laughs> you'll, you'll lose brain cells. Only if you're a weird type of retard like me will it even like be, be uh, understandable. Mm -hmm. But if you want to, here is his uh, YouTube channel. Go hang out, talk some shit, enjoy his company. None of that'll happen. He never does lives or anything, so it's only like videos that are 10 minutes long. Oh, God oh, damn it. Shut up, yawn. Get out of my face. Been one of them days, huh? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Um, so, because of that, we're gonna go hit some commercials. Commercials? Why would he have commercials? Check this shit out. Now, back to our program. You hungry? You want something to eat? I've got something for you. Here you go. Whoa! What? You want a souvlaki? Well, you'll have to impress me, monkey. Souvlaki Souvlaki Hut You'll do anything to get one Souvlaki Hut Kinder You're both yeah, sticky Yeah, yeah, yeah um, Me on Scrabbly Chocka Doobie Doobie Chocka Doobie Pop Swabble <laughs> Toy Yodel Yum and Choco Scrum with multi Pop Swabble Dies Oh Now, Snuggle, Kinder Surprise from Ferrero. How am I doing today, Gary Busey? You're doing great! Good! 
Then I'll keep it up! Hey guys, welcome to EV Games. Let me guess. Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare. Xbox, Xbox One. Copy that. So, is everybody using Duracell batteries? No kidding. The second I heard they had a battery that outlasts all other brands, I bought the family whole case. Reminds me of the first time we tried Duracell batteries. We were living in Tulsa with their great aunt Emma. <laughs> Herb, did you slip her one of those other batteries? Me? <laughs> <laughs> the copper top tops them all. estas preguntas y más las tiene Doctor Amigo. Visítanos e infórmate cómo juntos podemos detener esta epidemia. Now, back to our program. Hello, you beautiful bastards. We're back. Did you like the did you like the commercials? I've got commercial blocks and I've gone out of my way to find the most cursed commercials for you. Hopefully you enjoy them. So, now Watch this man destroy his shit with fucking Orbeez. Okay, so... You wouldn't do, like, an experiment to, to like, find out, like, like, rice, how big it gets when, when they puff up? Like, you wouldn't do that? I would do that. Wouldn't you? But I have the benefit of experience of this guy's experience, so, you know, it's a, it's a hindsight, it's got 2020 vision type deal. Trois, deux... Yeah, it's cold, huh? I bet that feels disgusting. There's still water in there. You have fun? Enjoy it. It's not gonna last long. Ce soir la saucisse vraiment aidez-moi. Bref, mon bail est donc rempli et en fait ça. So the joy is starting to wear off. He's starting to like, how the fuck am I gonna get rid of these? Ah, c'est biodégradable. Bref, du coup, je me suis dit ouais bon, je vais juste l'ouvrir ça et ça va. I don't speak French, I just can understand people's emotions in their voice. Yeah, 
so what's happened is they've gone into the 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 system, the the drain system, and they've backed up because they're they're buoyant, like they're because <laughs> they're fucking <laughs> they float, <laughs> which is really bad for a sewage system. Oh, Jesus, Marie Joseph, regardez là aussi, regardez oh, ça c'est pas. And you've got like old fucked up French pipes. Je fais quoi? Je fais quoi, mes saucissons? Regardez ça. Ça monte par, par, par les tuyaux. Oh Mais ça. Regardez, c'est vraiment bouché, quoi. Oh Mais les toilettes! Comment je vais chier? Yeah, J'ai motherfucker, what are you gonna do? S'il vous plaît, aidez-moi, là. Mon parti 2 de mon expérience qui est. Why would you not pull, put the plug in? God damn, so many rookie mistakes when dealing with, with shit that can fuck your pipes up. En train de foirer complètement. Du coup. Did I live a hectic life? It's now occurring to me. I might have lived a hectic life. J'ai ouvert euh, cette vanne là pour que ça va dans les tuyaux et en fait ça remonte par tous les trous de la maison. Du coup, voilà, voilà, euh, vous, vous étiez nombreux à me dire pour les chiottes en fait qu'il fallait que j'appuie sur la chasse pour que ça s'en va. Du... Yeah, like I'd consider putting hands on the guy who did that. It's like I'm the plumber, I'm coming in, I'm like motherfucker. What did you do? And just point at him. <laughs> did you just hit the flu- Did you just try to flush it, you idiot? Did this moron just try to flush it? Hey, why were you- Why were you cussing in German? Uh, like, why the fuck was he why the fuck was he cussing in German like I know a little German and Shiza means shit in German like he might be like he might have one parent from France and one parent from Germany that makes sense and it's coming back up through it. Look, it's deeper now. <laughs> yeah, they've got the it twice their size. Yeah, look, they're twice their size now. Du coup, mes saucissons, vous êtes nombreux à me dire qu'il faut que j'aspire les billes avec un aspirateur. Du coup, ben, je vais tester ça tout de suite. Allez, go. Bah, si ça marche, ah, ça marche bien pour une fois. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ouais, hoover pas, these up. Idée, là, I'm just gonna hoover these up. That's not the water. The water uh, part of this won't affect the the vacuum at all. Oula. Bon, je sais pas. Mais c'est quoi ça? Homie, don't ever scream like that again. Homie, like, I know you're a little fay, but come on. Yeah, you fucked up. Merde! Fais chier! Je vais faire comment, moi? No, 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 homie, here's what you do. Here's what you do. If you don't have any scooping appliances, like, uh, I don't know, funnel would even work. Um, you do it with your hands. You just get trash bags. And you gut it the fuck out. You just start to fill trash bag after trash bag. And they're gonna be heavy, because that's nothing but water. But you need to, like, burrow those fuckers out of your house. Or this'll happen. Zut! Ceux-ci sont regardés, il est en train de brûler! Merde, il m'a coûté 300 balles Putain, j'en peux plus je... Moi, c'est juste, regarde, c'est, c'est super bizarre, quoi. Ah oh, ouais. So, that is his manager. I have seen this before. Wait a minute. I would love it. I would love that. 
But yeah, this is his uh, manager. And she's like, do you know what the fuck happened here? And what he is saying is, I don't fucking know, man. That's weird. It's like, what the fuck are these even? Are they eggs? Are they some animal's eggs? No, I have nothing to do with me. I am very fucked. Add content to the show. Dude, we're still, like, I'm not even halfway through the show. You got time. And we're also doing that Wayne stream. That's like an hour. So yeah, we, we you got time. You got time, man. Ma bouche des gouttes de de jardin. Regardez-moi. So this motherfucker has literally polluted the water supply. Merde! Merde! Il y a tout qui est bouché quoi. Fais chier. Puis quand juste pour récap. I'm willing to bet the shit is in the water table now. Yeah, I hope they kicked him out too, causing that much problem for nothing. La situation, j'ai fermé la vanne, du coup, les billes dans la baignoire, euh, ils sortent plus. Bref, c'est pas du tout ma priorité. Ma priorité pour l'instant, like, c'est oh, de sortir okay. tous les billes dans les tuyaux. Du coup, euh, arrêtez de me dire, je sais que you, ça. You gotta end up feeling bad for him at the, at the end of this, because he's like literally just breaking down crying. Ça, je peux enlever avec des sacs poubelles, ça y a pas de souci. C'est juste les billes dans les tuyaux, comment je fais Nous avons nos moutons, mais ceux-ci sont... Du coup, euh, vous, êtes, vous êtes nombreux à me dire qu'il faut mettre du sel dans, dans les canards. Donc, ce qu'il dit, c'est... J'ai entendu que si vous mettez du sel dans les tuyaux, ça aide à se dérouler plus vite. L'utilisation pour que ça rétrécisse les petits billes, euh, parce qu'en fait, le sel, ça enlève l'eau. Bref, du coup, on va tester ça, parce que regardez, là, ils sont toujours encore là, je les dis, Marie Joseph. Du coup, là, je vais mettre du sel, et après, on va voir ça... Ceux-ci sont, j'ai laissé couler l'eau, regardez, et ça fait du, un peu de bruit, ça fait des bruits bizarres, écoutez-moi ça, c'est trop bizarre. En tout cas, je suis content, j'ai réussi à tout enlever, mais... Oh, ah ah mais c'est quoi cool. ah oh, Yeah, that worked good cool. That looks ah, like poo la merde, c'est la chasse qui remonte Je fais quoi, là, mais ceux-ci sont Mais ceux-ci sont, je fais quoi, pas tout le trou de la... Oh, God Oh, God, guys Oh, my God That was horrible. La maison, ça pue la chaise partout. Nine, regarde les toilettes. Là, ça, ça, ça remontait par les toilettes aussi. J'ai pas, j'ai filmé du coup, mais genre, <rire> qu'est-ce que je. Oh. Ils sont genre, je peux plus. <rire> regarde. Regardez, je, je fais la tournée caca avec mon chien Albert. Et là, je vois quoi Je vois des billes partout. Oh, Et regardez là-bas ce qui sort des égouts. Putain de merde de chaise. Nine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's a storm drain. They're coming up from the storm drains. Putain, c'est dans ma rue. Regardez, c'est vraiment c'est mes boules là. Je je rêve pas. Mais mon chien il me juge, putain. Like at what point do you just like set a match to your own apartment and run? Sont vraiment des égouts là. Je crois que je dois appeler des professionnels. Je fais quoi là Est-ce qu'un plombier ça ça sert à quelque chose oh, Merde Regardez-moi ça, ça ça sort vraiment de l'ego. Albert, je crois que je suis vraiment cool. Just a cute ass little dog going. Yeah, you fucked up, Dad. Non mais ceci soit là aussi. Je rigole alors que c'est un rire nerveux là. Je fais quoi là Merde Putain. Okay, to be fair, he seems like early 20s guy who hasn't had too many like oh my god i'm gonna have to sell the car problems so like this might be the biggest thing that's ever fucked with his life shit shit goes down like that sometimes it's like i have never experienced anything this big before en fait, j'ai relevé mon courrier. En gros, après la balade de mon chien, j'ai relevé. Euh, ben, je vais à la boîte aux lettres. Regardez si j'ai du courrier. Et là, je... I'm not a cog mod. Oh, you came to the wrong place, bitch boy. You get three lines. Go. Oh, you came to the wrong place. 
So, yeah, go ahead, say whatever the fuck you're going to say. You get two more lines. Go ahead. I know there's a delay, but I'll fucking wait. Okay, that's two. Um, yeah, no, I've got other people who have nothing to do with COG in here. Well, well, of course. I, I like to stick to my word when I say you get this many times to, to run your mouth. You're not going to say anything uh, interesting or, or worth my time, so why not just ban you? Thank you for watching for as long as you did, but there's really no reason to, uh, to entertain your dumb shit. So, here we are. You got bonked. Congratulations. I guess that means my channel is growing if people are showing up to talk with me. There was an attempt, but I'm not entertaining that shit when they'll just deny that Paul said a couple years ago that that shit vehemently didn't happen. Um, they're just denying that. I literally got in a conversation with two morons uh, before the show where they're like, where they're like, uh, yeah, pay up. Uh, uh, it, it was all truth. And I'm like, nah, that was a lie. Mod you? Okay. Um, how do I mod you? Fuck, how do I mod Clowny? Oh, wait. This. Did that work? Clowny, say something. Huh? Oh, welcome back. I, I'm trying to mod Doomer. Uh, I'm actually still taking care of something, so give me... Okay, you're fine. A bit more. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, bop, bop. Did that... Did that... Did that modify you, my good man? Du coup, j'ai relevé le courrier et tout. Aïe, merde. Reçu une lettre du même. On a tous reçu la même lettre dans le voisinage, je crois. <rire> Comment je. First thing, he bans me. <rire> Moi, ça, obstruction des canalisations. Madame, monsieur, suite à plusieurs plaintes, nous avons découvert que plusieurs, plusieurs bouches d'évacuation ont été obstruées. Ainsi que plusieurs jardins. Merde La substance trouvée sont des. So, this is basically. Hey, whoever did that, we're looking for you, and you owe us money. That's what this says. B de de différentes tailles. Merci de bien vouloir vérifier votre jardin, car nous avons dépêché une demande d'analyse afin de déterminer si ces substances sont polluantes. Sachez toutefois, chaque habitant ayant trouvé cette substance sur son terrain devra porter plainte contre la personne responsable de cette pollution pour obtenir une sanction pénale. Nous avons déposé une plainte. Wait, Cloudy. Did you just ban yourself and lose your wrench? Or wait, what happened? Damn, it unmod me, can't unbonk. Ce matin, la gendarmerie pour découvrir la provenance de cette pollution. It's gone, it's for the best. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out how to do it, because eventually I do need people in here to, to kind of, kind of keep things running while I run the show. Je vais faire la WC, merde. This guy, <laughs> this guy's having a bad day. Je fais quoi? J'ai plus de solution, là. Photo en story de la lettre, et vous étiez vraiment nombreux à trouver mon adresse, et j'ai tout flouté exprès. Du coup, so he's calmed down a little. Maybe it's the next day. S'il vous plaît, c'est vraiment un gros manque de respect. 
Vraiment déjà comme ça, je suis archi dans la merde. Vous vous imaginez pas mon niveau de stress actuellement. Du coup, s'il vous plaît, arrêtez de dévoiler des informations. I'm just not gonna listen to a French guy just sit there and lather on. I've done that too long with uh, Mac. Sorry, half French. All right, let's watch just a good old fashioned people who took too much. Just, just bam, weird crackheads. Seven minutes. This guy's feeling it. He seems to be having a good time. Like, this dude is so high, his friends are popping out their phones and shit to, to record his dumb ass. Like, look at Jerry, he's fucked. food he has, but it's definitely food because he takes a bite. Man, this guy's so high it makes me want to take a dab. Sorry, that's pretty loud. Um, this guy's so high it makes me want to take a dab. Which I'm gonna. Like, that guy's living his best life. Pizza Rat ain't got nothing on this dude. You ever think about the same things when you're not high? Oh, I love uh -huh. this guy. You ever think about those same things when you're not high? Uh-uh. Why not? What was the question? Do you ever think about happy things when you're not high? We phrase it. Do you ever feel good when you're not high on PCP? Do I ever feel good? When you're not high on PCP. Yeah, maybe they don't give him what's known as a heroic dose and then try to get sense out of him. If if you know uh, 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 hallucinogens, you know what a heroic dose is. And it's applicable for PCP and other things. They gave this guy the maximum. You can kind of tell because he's just disheveled. PCP. Do it again. Do you ever... Do it feel good when you're not Jump on PCP. Do I ever feel good when I'm not on PCP? Oh, yeah. What makes you feel good? PCP. PCP. <laughs> what else? What uh, makes you feel good? PCP. What else? Black. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, get it. <laughs> Oh fuck, Cog played this one. This is amazing. Watch this dude. God, we to pass now, bring it. I know we hear what see. Which person brought that beast now? Do which person? And Cog was right. This dude was in ecstasy before he got slapped. And then some dude. This dude is living his best life again. You know, drugs seem to do that to people. And then... <laughs> he got drawn into the worst world of pain. Just, just... Fuck you. I love it. Oh, it hurts. Why'd you have to hit me in the fucking ear, dude? Oh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that right now, except for with two. <laughs> what the fuck? He's on some good shit. Dude, at that point, I'm sticking my hand in and grabbing the keys. How about you guys? You guys sticking your hand in, grabbing the keys? I am. Because that's that's a that's a ton bullet or a half ton or a, uh, two tons or whatever the fuck. Um, that's that's a 
a, a very heavy bullet. So I'm sticking my hand in. I'm grabbing those keys. It's like, oh, no, man, I'm not trying to ruin your time. Here you go. It's all good. Uh, are you it's back, more guy? like a 3,000. Yeah, it's more like a 3,000 pound shit missile. Yeah, yeah. So I don't want anybody who's high as fuck in there. So I'm going to just grab the keys and set them on yeah, your... No. Here, perfect thing to do if you don't want anybody saying you're trying to steal their shit. Take their keys out and put it right on the hood, uh, right on the uh, roof of their car. Because even if it's a push button, it's far enough away it won't be able to trigger it. Cops do that. Uh, no, I, I've seen push button vehicles. You can be some. Uh, it has to if it's anywhere within like five feet of the vehicle, you're SOL. Mm. Well, so as a general it's rule, like it's, maybe. It's... Well, I'm not throwing somebody's fucking oh, yeah. keys in the grass, so I'm just going to do that. And if it fucking uh, turns I on... Would. I would, but... I'm not, because then, then you you could get got with, like, fucking damaging property and shit like that. Like, the world is too soft now. You can't you can't do anything that's, yeah, that has any, like, like heft to it anymore. Oh, well, I'm not aware. The world is full of softies. It's cucked. The world has become cucked. Mm. Huh? Detect. Dude, this dude's already on a curb. He's already hit something. Of course I'm grabbing that shit. Uh, yeah. And it seems that's an older model uh, than Chevy. Uh, yeah, There's it's not no even a push button. A it's, push not, it's not a push button, so I'm grabbing his keys and throwing them on a, on, on a ceiling. On his on his roof. Or... Yeah, now you gotta you get out to get them. Um... Or throw them in the trunk. Yeah. Like, that's too much work. No, nah, it's going on top for me. <laughs> and then I'm that's running because they're probably gonna try and chase me because they're fucked up. <laughs> they're high. They're like, something. you're a panda, and I'm like, I'm not. That guy's in my chat. <laughs> so I see they're smoking devil over in Rio de Janeiro. Still not past the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's what uh, uh, Cog would call a smack rat. Oh. <laughs> Panda, you have yourself a wonderful night. Thank you so much for dropping by. We, al we always appreciate your presence here. You have yourself a good one. Oh, I got Hey, I might actually split today's episode in half. We got people who took too much, and we might, like, end it with Final Fantasy House, and then then take what we have, and then do it tomorrow. Just because oh, I'm trying oh. to keep, I'm trying to keep the, I'm trying to keep the oh, shit. Oh, he went over. Uh, I'm uh, trying to keep, trying to keep the time down. Like, I don't ever want to do a five-hour stream again just about Wayne. That shit is horrible. Oh, that sounds horrible. That sounds horrible. Oh my god, he fell. He's not a French guy. Well, he's on so much, yeah. Only in South Central. Oh, what the hell happened there? Only in South Central, yeah. They did have a security guard. I don't know what the fuck happened to the security guard. <laughs> what? I, sorry, I was looking at my other screen. I look up and I see this. Bishop, look! Weird shit, I know, right? Does he have, like, a bisection scar, like, when he got, like, cracked open like a fucking, uh, uh, lobster? God damn. Yeah, that does look like it. Uh oh. Good night. Yo, don't do fentanyl. Heroin's for the OGs. No, I'm kidding. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, run, run, run. He went zombie. He's going zombie. Oh, hell. My man's over there tweaking in that car, boy. It's gonna be the cleanest goddamn car ever! Oh, oh. He looked like that dude on uh, Men in Black when he was like, Give me sugar water. <laughs> When the cameraman clowns, <laughs> I love it. I love it when the cameraman clowns. I want sugar water. 
Ugh. Oh boy. Oh my god. What? Bishop, what did we just see? I have no idea. Yeah, no, no, no. We're backing that up. We're watching that again. Wow. How did this go from I'm setting my stool down to I'm jumping through the window? I have no idea. Oh, I skipped it. Huh? Huh? And it's immediate when he jukes him. He's like, I'm jumping through this window. Uh-huh. I bet he's bleeding like a motherfucker. Oh, probably. Plate glass, that shit shreds you up. Have you ever seen somebody punch into a window like that? It's insane how much damage happens. Oh, yeah, I don't doubt it. Oh my god. Dude, it's weird when it's like, it looks like their heads are being pulled backwards. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't know. People are nuts. Dude, that did escalate, escalate quickly, didn't it? Uh huh. Like, I like laughing at retards, but every once in a while, they really throw me for a loop. Yeah, that's what they do. No, normally, I kind of can guess. Mm -hmm. But that guy going through the window was just... It didn't occur to me. Oh. I'm still in right. shock about the last one. This guy's just Mr. Wobbly. That's fine. That happens all the time. That dude jumped through a fucking window! Holy shit! Weird shit, huh? It's amazing. See, we need people like that to produce videos like this for us. Mm -hmm. You gotta respect the chaos. That's my new catchphrase, and it's actually like, it actually respect like fits. The chaos. You gotta respect the chaos, dude. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> that emergent, like, see, like, flicking out of his arm, like, I'm throwing a punch, but it's just to get his balance right. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. He's, like, getting mad at the guy filming it. He's like, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, bitch, fuck you, bitch. Uh oh. Nothing oh, no. this, ever yeah. good happened with a fucking beer bong. Like, the uh, night uh, never no, goes like well. The night <laughs> never goes well with a beer bong. Oh, that looks like a bottle of rum, my dude. I, I know, but the thing he's about to <laughs> shotgun it into his gullet with is a beer bong. Oh, yeah, that's not that never. I never Trouble to is afoot when a beer bong gets brought out. Mm hmm? Trouble is afoot when a beer bong gets gets brought out. It's like if you ever hear yeah. if you ever hear, hey, you want to do a cake stand? Get the fuck out or get ready to cause trouble. Mm-hmm. This guy's gonna die. Oh, you cunt! You didn't even show him drinking it. How'd you guys have fun tonight? Yeah, man. Yeah, excellent. Good atmosphere. Excellent atmosphere. The good music? Music's always good from Fantasia. Is Fantasia the best? Yeah. Definitely. It's still all high on MDMA and shit. Are you, are you guys gonna stop ever? Oh. Or are you gonna keep dancing forever? I'm keep dancing forever, I mean. Well, at least till I remember where I put my car.
What's your New Year's resolution for 93? Yeah. Not right anymore. Brave, right, all the way through. If the rest of the year turns out as good as like today has started, then I ain't got a worry in the world, mate. Nah, you're not high as fuck. Even the other ravers are like, God damn, how much did you take? Night, Sniffles. You have yourself a wonderful day. Hope you rest well. Okay, hey, you guys want another set of commercials? Because I do. Now, back to our program. <laughs> Oh, did I fuck up the no no. Oh, Wayne's live. Right? Oh, let's go. Let's go poke our heads and see what he's up to after the commercial. What's that? Do you have insurance on this car? No. It must be Eagle Man. I've got something for you. Oh, look at those low rates. Well, team, I tried meth. All right, guys, looks like I'm really liking meth. Hey, guys, I need money. Like now. Like yesterday. Like now! Hi, Peter. My name is Marcus. Your family has written some letters they'd like to read to you. You liars! Weird Easter this year. Dad, you're back! Oh, we missed you so much. Oh, I missed you guys. Meth was great, but I guess it's bad. I don't know, I'm not really sold on that yet. Mmm, meat. Soda. Eat. I'm sorry! Oh, I'm talking to Chad. Yes, you do. Unhinge your jaw. Eat it. 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 Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Available at Walgreens. New from the makers of Head On. Introducing Activon. Arthritis pain? Activon. Apply directly where. Now, back to our program. Sorry, uh, my finger slipped. But uh, we are back, and uh, yeah, let's let's poke our heads in on Patsy, Wayne. If you're forced to go to the front lines, or would you try to run away or go to jail? Um, I think I would kill my commanding officer, steal his uni uniform, <laughs> and then take the jeep. Let's see what we and skedaddle. Stolen. Oh, let me. What no, you shouldn't fight for your country. Because your country don't give a fuck about you now. He's saying right? don't fight for your country, country right now. Our country is hyperinflating the money. We've got open borders. What? We got Israel hold controlling on, our on. media. I'll get you. We're totally being raped and pillaged. And the politicians in office are fucking everybody. 
So no, fighting for your country is the dumbest thing you could do. God gave you legs to walk away from this fight so you can walk away from a fight another day. And then another day somebody wants to fight you, then walk away that day. Keep walking. God gave you. So be a bitch. Report him to your nearest democracy officer. He is committing the highest of treason. Oh, never mind. You wouldn't play Hell. You didn't. You haven't played Hell Divers. You wouldn't catch the reference. <laughs> uh, no, I don't get the reference. I'm sorry. I was reading chat. Give you legs to protect yourself. <laughs> Yo, 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 I do need to track down some Price is Right commercials. Those would be okay, awesome. Okay, Biblical Prophecy claims the rapture is coming oh, yeah. April 23rd. People, oh, okay, so people have been... Oops, uh, sorry. Uh, oh, go, go, go. What are you going to say? No, I was just going to make another Helldivers joke. Oh. God, I play that game too much. Dude, I almost started making Rick and Morty jokes. Don't worry about it. Um, I saw, I watched the entire season, or the entire show. Like in a couple days, because uh -huh. I'm like that, um, and I almost started talking, uh, 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 fucking Rick and Morty quotes, like pickle Rick bullshit the whole time, and then I'm like, oh no, I hate those people. I can't do that. Basically, two weeks, I think. Oh damn. Yeah, that's two weeks. Fox News. TGI Friday commercials were bangers, too. But first, I'm going to do all the curse commercials I can lay my hands on, because those are just mwah, fucking perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay, everybody, I know that you... Oh, no, no, not like that. Like, crazy oh. bad. Like, Dale's Barbecue and Foot Massage. Dale's Barbecue and Foot Massage. What the fuck? Fuck. It's it's you may that not recognize awful. it cuz it's not a shrill ass black man singing it but if you see it you'll probably know it because it's so bad it's synonymous with bad commercials. Dude, you'll fucking love it. It's <laughs> it's horrible and awesome all at the same time. Like there's a point right. where he's punching a steak and he's like divorce me, take my money. <laughs> want some updates on transgenders and what they think and this is here is the information transgender catholics say the new vatican document shows no understanding oh this is this is dumb and boring literally listening yeah. to two parents get sentenced to 15 years or 10 to 15 is actually going to be more interesting listen tate mirror hannah saint juliana and uh joseph the Michigan i have a feeling i know a uh, state you record have a for it's been a bunch of time man. days taking into account the nature of the offense and the background of each defendant. I believe that the following sentences would be in the best interest of justice and are reasonable and proportionate to the seriousness of the matter and the circumstances surrounding each defendant. With regard to Jennifer Crumley, it is the sentence of this court, Ms. Crumley, that you serve 10 to 15 years with the Michigan Department of Corrections you will have credit for 858 days. State costs are $272. Is a crime victim's rights fee of $130. Uh, um, you and your agents sports. may not have any contact with Fadden. I'm sorry? It's not on the Discord stream. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, actually, can you just chill real quick? It's really dry and boring. You probably don't care. Uh, and then I'll, I'll switch right back. All right. The families of Madison Baldwin. Tate Mir, Hannah St. Juliana, and Justin Schilling. Um, I will issue another ruling with regard to contact um, with your son, the shooter. <coughs> Excuse me. As, defend as to defendant James Crumley, it is the sentence of this court that you serve 10 to 15 years with the Michigan Department of Corrections, that you receive credit for 858 days, that you pay state costs in the matter of uh, $272, that there is a crime victim's rights fee of $130, that you or your agents have no contact with the families of Madison Baldwin, Tate Muir, Hannah St. Juliana, and uh, Justin Schilling. Um, 
All right, that was real dry, but they both got 15, uh, uh, 10 to 15 years for uh, uh, <clears throat> the brazen attitude with which they um, talked about and, and used guns and the free and open manner in which they provided uh, their son with uh, guns and ammunition. Unregulated. Yeah, that... Oh, wonderful. The ETF's going to want to talk to him. I'm sure of it. But uh, no, as well, a... No, they're already fucked. What are you ha- talking about? That's like, you're talking about two steps behind what's already happening. Oh, no, I'm, I'm just saying if they, when, if they get out, since they had unregulated firearms... No, no, not that unregulated. I mean, oh. he just had oh. unregulated access. Oh, you're talking about the kid that did that? Yeah. Like, oh, he could yeah. grab yeah, any gun he wanted a... and grab a pocket full of uh, bullets, from what I understood. Yeah, and since this was on the more liberal side of the state, I'm surprised they actually went after the parents, because that yeah. does set a so, really sus precedent. So, chat, what are your thoughts on this? Um, on one hand, I believe that you shouldn't fault parents who have guns in the house just because the kid got hands on the gun. But in this case, they made it so fucking easy to do this that there is some merit to what's happening here. So I want to hear your your opinions in the chat. But then again, if you don't feel like it, you don't have to. Kind of that type of show. Yeah, and having, you know, been hailed from the state of Michigan, the state that literally is the hand on the map. Nice. No intended. Um, yeah, this... Now, had this happened on the other side of the state, close to the Grand Rapids, oh, they'd have fucking thrown the fuck at him. They'd have been, like, 30 years in federal lockup. Not federal lockup, but, uh, the highest security rating prison the MDOC Next. actually had. Max. Yep. All right, <clears throat> oh, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we are now going to be sh- shifting on to down the rabbit hole, and I'm going to give you that guy's uh, YouTube channel in the chat. Bam. And I'm going to give you the specific video because this is a two for one. This is me gushing over the down the rabbit hole guy. And the specific episode of Down the Rabbit Hole. This this specific episode is called The Final Fantasy House. The reason it's called The Final F- Fantasy House is because most of the people who lived in the house were convinced to some degree that they were reincarnated uh, uh, video game characters from Final Fantasy. So they oh, believed in reincarnation and reincarnation of fictional characters. So in their weird mm-hmm. twisted world, they you could reincar- you could be the reincarnation of Cloud or you could be the reincarnation of uh Tifa or any of those dumb fuckers. Of the early internet stories, there are few as infamous as the Final Fantasy House. Though the details are unclear to most who remember it, its reputation is still sometimes invoked on forums in reference to terrible housemates or the eccentric potential from online communities, especially fandoms. What's more, it was one of the main channels through which internet users were introduced to the otherkin phenomenon. So what was the Final Fantasy House? On April 18th, 2005, a live journal user under the handle of Genki Crack made a long, scattered post detailing an experience with specific fans of Final Fantasy VII, a popular and influential story-driven game from Japan. He introduced it by writing, These people are dangerous. This is not a joke. This is my experience with them. He began by explaining his place within the- So, do you think that's a pretty good introduction to this? I think it's a pretty good introduction. Um, <clears throat> this is the type of thing that back in the day I would listen to uh, and and do work on a second screen. And like the 
the stuff this guy would talk about would blow my fucking mind. Um, like, there's this one, he talked, there's this one, uh, incident, uh, that happened in, like, the 1940s where 90% of the, of the sweet wine that was being sold in Germany and surrounding areas, uh, had a poison in it that hurt a lot of people over the next 10 years. This guy covers that. It's amazing. Uh, he, this is an awesome one. I would encourage anybody to go check this this guy out. He is wonderful. Uh, I can't gush about him enough. All right, so now we are going to switch up to Mind Swell Films. That guy who I got that partial interview with, who was eating on on uh, on screen the whole time. Oh, how lovely! Yeah, he was like eating like potted cheese and Panera. And shit. Just mm. the nastiest shit you could be eating in a fucking in a view like that. And I'm sorry. Oh, dude. It's in, oh, it's, and it's so sad about Panera. Oh my not god. Not a Panera. Uh, sorry, it, uh, he was eating Sprouts, the grocery. Um. Uh, no, but in, that in restaurant Starbucks. in the background is in a, a Starbucks. In a Starbucks, excuse me. Oh my god! But what's he doing in front of a Panera? Because he's homeless. Oh, that's yeah. I mean. Not not to judge, but the dude does look. Dude, he looks like that sheriff from Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. Like a like he had a bad meth addiction. Oh yeah, I, I would. Or he looks like Trevor I, from GTA. Ooh, both via, both good candidates of what the dude looks like. <laughs> yeah. Just kicked me out for being homeless. Refused to serve me because I have this with me. In an empty restaurant. Who kicked him out? Uh, a restaurant. Uh, Panera. That's where I got the uh, the word Panera. Just yeah, mix it up in my hell. brain, guy. Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hell, I was at a Panera earlier, and their food is good. Yeah, and apparently Expensive. they don't tolerate the homeless, so another another benefit. No, you guys are no, going to have to call the cops, because I'm going to get I video of you guys you. having me removed. So when I go to corporate, I can show them the video of how you had me physically removed. Okay. Probably stank. Probably stank. Bad. The guy laughing at her is like, yeah, okay. Like, yeah, okay, you're going to call corporate? Wow. They you get can a lot either of other shit follow dude. company policy and not harass me, or you can call the cops. It's your call. So, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> for? For anything. And you chose because I'm homeless. No. Panera kicked me out for being homeless. The guy wow. just said, no, that's not the reason we're kicking you out. Probably. You're the manager, right? Ass. You're the manager? The location manager? No. Oh, I thought you were. Yeah, we're kind of good. Well, I just, the other guy was saying I wasn't allowed to have my stuff in here, and I know you saw it the other day and didn't have a problem with it, so. Yeah, actually, we've been talking about this. It's just we're because about of, it. Yeah. Yeah, because of the cart and the whole thing, yeah, we, you can't have your stuff in here. Yeah, but it's not a company policy. Mm-hmm. It is it kind is. of. Kind of? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean, kind of? It's not, it's not kind of. Yeah. Okay, so after interacting with him, uh, Frank is very confrontational to the point where just having a normal conversation with him feels like you're kind of wrestling an alligator. Like, it's the only way I can describe it. It's like trying to just get him to talk to you like a human is as hard as trying to fucking fit that spring in the gun. You know the one. <laughs> um, Yeah, like, this dude turns everything into a fight. It's crazy. Oh, of course he does. Really? These Panera it's workers cool. are not getting paid enough for this. Before? That I know. Yeah, they're not getting paid to answer a questionnaire about their policies because you don't want to fucking do it. Exactly. Like, come on, man. You know, it was a problem. As, as I mentioned, we talked to the general manager, and uh, yeah, we agreed that you can have your stuff over here. Sorry about that. Really? Yeah. Okay. No, you guys are going to have to call the cops because I'm going to get video of you. What? Like, why did you go from, I'm completely amenable to that, to, you're gonna have to throw me out, motherfucker. 
Oh my God. You guys having me removed. So when I go to corporate, I can show them the video of how you had me physically removed. Okay. Every step it's your call. You take. What? You can Where either follow company policy and not harass me, or you can call the cops. It's your call. So, yeah. Uh, company policy does give me the right to kick you out. For? For anything. And you chose because I'm homeless. Yeah, it's because you were waiting by the door. No, 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 no. They goddamn talked about your little cart that could have a bomb or anything in it. Decided they didn't want it in the place because it probably stinks. And they didn't want you. Like you have scabies, my guy. Don't even act like you don't. I was waiting by the door to see if you're gonna bring your stuff in here. But how did you know? I came from that direction. You walk right, right up here. And you just came running over to make sure I didn't bring my stuff in? Uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, no. Yeah. Nope. Would you please take your stuff and leave? Like I said, I'm going to need you to call the police. I have the please right take to your stuff and leave. Okay. Can you so get I'm the fuck out? Take this right right now. Uh -huh. And I want you to take right. your stuff. I feel bad leave. for this, okay. this so Panera, Panera, Panera manager. Well. Yeah, You're going to you physically touch my stuff yes. instead of calling the police. So take your stuff. Like, this guy's trying to feed a family. Maybe not even a family. Maybe just a cat. But something, he's trying to make his life work, and you are not helping him. Um, no, you're not. You're making your bullshit his problem, and I hate that. That's the one thing <laughs> I really hate about the homeless. When they make their problem your problem by de facto. Like, you're going to have oh, yeah. to move oh. me. Well, God damn it, you're going to eat up about two hours of my day now, you fuck. <laughs> exactly. It's like, it's I'm, like not, I'm not mad, I'm just heavily annoyed. No, and I mean, I, I've been to a Panera, and I've interacted with a dude that did not, oh, but he smelled good, he had a car, it, he was a paying customer. If yeah. you're a paying customer, that you, you know, you smell halfway fucking decent. And, and apparently you know, it wasn't even the way he smelled, it was just his car. Like, they don't want that pile of trash in the in the in the building because it makes them look bad oh yeah i mean if you had a gold bag they'd be okay because I've, I've seen dudes dude even like a backpacker's backpack like the bigger ones they wouldn't even look twice at realistically no because you I've grab that you put it on your there. feet when you're fucking sitting at your table nobody gives a shit yeah dude i've, I've been in panera's i've had my gold bag yeah it's not the I most po posh place like it's not it's not it's it's not that. No. Oh, no. They just don't want a bucket full of junk that smells yeah. like ass. Get your That's ass all. smelling shit out of here. Thank you. Uh -huh. You're physically you. threatening me. Please take I mean, it's your away. job to call the police, not to physically engage with the customer. I think you... No, actually, there's this thing called, uh, uh, what is it called? Shopkeeper's Privilege, I think it's called. Um, yeah. they have the right to hold you until the police come. They have the right to physically remove you uh, they can't from their property. You. No, they can. They really can. They can put their hands on you to get you the fuck out of that place. That's oh, part of the property, okay. and they've said you're not allowed there. Mm -hmm. So if, like, you're standing outside and be like, they physically pushed me out. The cop goes, did they tell you to leave? And they, they go, yeah. And they go, well, that's their right. Yep. Cause think about it. If you couldn't physically touch anybody, how would stealing go? Uh, very, very accurate. Like it, like it does. Like when you think about it, it doesn't make sense because a shopkeeper has a right to protect their merchandise. Just like chattel. Mm -hmm. Like, like you know that you could still shoot somebody in Texas if you say you thought they were trying to rustle your cattle. Mm hmm. Like, do not fuck around in Texas. They don't oh, yeah, play they, there. They don't play. They don't play. You know that? Oh, god damn it. I have the right to, to physically to touch my stuff? You're not serving me. That's clear. Yes, he does have the right to physically touch your stuff. But if you right, want me to leave, serving, you, you do have to leave, then call uh, the police. Fucking leave. So use more city resources because you want to be a problem. Fuck you. Great, well, use I'll more city resources. Fair... They're already fucking stretched thin. Jackass. Yo, yo, Frank, I will still give you an honest, 
and forthright interview if you decide to give me an interview. But you're being an asshole right now. Physically touch my mm -hmm. stuff on camera. It's your call. This guy's on, heavily you know, this, considering this hitting him. you want to die on? This guy's <clears throat> heavily considering hitting him. Yeah. Like, look yeah, at I that face. Tell. This is the face of a man yeah. who's like, I don't need this job that bad. Nope. I'm seriously considering beating the shit out of you. Okay. You're calm. Why are you doing this? You Why are you doing this? Because you're, you can't leave like you're stuck And like yet, this. it hasn't been a problem before today. Okay, as you wish, I'm just going to call the cops. Anyway. There you go. Don't threaten someone with physical violence. Call the cops. Ah, uh, Frank. I, I like your weird liberal bullshit, but if it was your property, you'd tell them to get the fuck out and use every means at your disposal to get them out. I have no fucking, I have no doubt in my mind that that's what would happen. Uh, specifically because you say that shit like, I'm Frank Barish, motherfucker. Do you know who I am? That type of shit lets me know that oh, this is, this that. is only a one way street for you. You, your safety only matters, but, like, if if this was your place, you'd be like, you know who I am? Get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Bro? Osama? What the fuck is he doing by calling him the wrong name? Um, he's doing a racial epitaph because, uh, it, it's... It's cool to respect his body's autonomy and shit like that, but he doesn't have to respect anybody's racial creed. Oh, wow. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, I think a lot of this sensitivity is gay and, and, and shouldn't exist. But just calling some Arab dude Osama because he looks Arab is fucked up. For sure. Like, like at a certain point, the cops wouldn't mind if they beat the shit out of him. Like, no, no. there's a certain point where it's like, and he called me Osama, and then I saw Red, and I beat his ass. Dude, there are certain things called fighting words that, like, like, there's a good chance if you, a white guy, call a black person the N-word in front of a cop, and that dude just beats the fuck out of you, there's a chance, an outside one, but a chance, that cop will just watch. Because they don't. Because you said some fighting words, some words that are so unculturally grained, ingrained in them, quote unquote, that it gives them free access to act like a fucking animal. Because, yep. because, realistically, that's actually a thing. You've been there. I've been there. That point where you're like, oh no, no, no there, there are no rules anymore. Let's go. Typically, with another guy, where you're about to fight. Does not end well. No, it doesn't end well. You, either one of you or both get fucked up, but the thing gets settled. Yeah. Stay right there. I'm gonna, bro. I'm sure gonna, bro. That sounds so empty. stupid. I just put. I thought you were gonna stay there, Frank. Why are you up and walking around like a psychopath? That's it. <laughs> my stuff right in front of my seat in an empty restaurant. Why am I doing this? Always with the bullshit like that. Yeah, why are you making it worse? Like, that's what he's asking. He's he's asking you, you stupid son of a bitch. Um, why are you making yourself a problem and abusing the social contract to to make this harder on me than I need, than it needs to be. Um, I, think that's, if... I think that's what yeah. he was saying in that, in that little exchange there, buddy. Oh, dude, he's, he's, let's, let's see if he buys anything from the, the kiosk. Some things. Hey, look, easy. their computer remembers me. I'm going to add to that order. Oh, yeah, but you know, oh. a human has to fill that. Nobody's going to fill that for you. Right, bud? Alright, let's check out. No, actually, they give you a, a record. Call. No, I don't think I'm gonna pay extra money. And you go fill it yourself. Oh, crap, but let's check out. No, no like all, all the food items he's ordering. Uh, I'm gonna dine in, even though they're not. Oh, it just looks like in. he's ordering a walk or a drink. No. Whole thing. Uh, he said I'm adding to the order. Okay. Hmm. Are they refusing to serve me? 
Yeah. The manager's been walking around looking for security. Uh oh. Oopie poop poop. This guy. Oh, yeah. My name's Bobby, by the way. Bobby, there we go. I was trying to get your name so I know what to tell. Thank you for the free food, Bobby. And the apology. Dude, I look you forward just turned cop to a crime? Fucking You're kicking idiot. me out. Refusing to serve me. And an that that thing looks like an ambulatory piece of garbage. Like it looks like someone made a robot and then went, "Look, it's garbage," and and then decided to give it like wheels. Yeah. Refusing to serve me in an empty restaurant. He was waiting by the door for me. Hey, hey, Frank! Fuck you! They don't need your EBT. See, it's got less of a footprint than a baby carriage. And he... Yeah, but a baby it, carriage it, it can't give you scabies. Yeah, it don't stank like fucking asshole. A, a baby carriage can't give you fucking bronchitis. Mm-hmm. Admit it, it's not against the rules, but they're allowed to kick people out if they want to. So it's literally discrimination, right, Bobby? Yo! Him and Wayne both use that discrimination shit. Yeah! God damn. Bobby. Like, you might actually have a, a uh, high, like, a, a better claim to it than Wayne does. Appreciate being told I'm not welcome. Not welcome at Panera. That sucks. No, no, your cart's not welcome at Panera. You can put your cart outside, you can and then they'll happily like. serve you. It's not inside the fucking building, you fucking troglodyte. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. Wow. I mean... Not welcome to Panera, because I got this. And? You're Frank Barrett. You got so much reach. Why does that even bother you? Mm-hmm. I thought you were Frank Barish, motherfucker. Why does this even bother you? Panera, where homeless people are discriminated against. Oh, you're not just any. You're just absolute not, bullshit. You're not just any homeless person. You're Frank Barish. What if they're they're targeting you specifically because of your presidency? <laughs> Dumbass. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what else do we got? What else do we got? Uh, Wayne's drunk stream. We're actually gonna save that because I'm a little tired. Um, actually, we're gonna we're gonna save the last two. Uh, Bishop. All right. Did you have a good Yo. time? Absolutely. Cool. Um, I hope you find uh human beings out there in YouTube land who are watching had yourself a wonderful time as well. Uh, I am the host, and this is The Freak Show, and you have been the audience. And until next time, in the immortal words of Wayne Lambright, 